it was a it was a really blessed experience for me. I feel really good that, that you were able to see what actually happens in a parish day to day, hour by hour. Mm -hmm. Before James even got here, um, the staff and I sat down and we made a whole list of possible things that he could get involved with over the summer, just trying to maximize the experience and the exposure. I, I think the day after I arrived, I started to uh, shadow Father Dave on, on uh, different appointments, uh, began my homebound ministry uh, activities, began attending um, weekly uh, Bible study groups, and uh, just dove in head first. But something that Father and I talk about often is um, surrendering, surrendering this to Christ and understanding this isn't about me. This is about serving. Up early in the morning for prayer, a full day of, uh, of, of different activities, uh, typically into the evening. One of our retirement centers, we do a, a group service there with the folks who, some, many of them come to Mass, but we do a midweek service for them. So James led a service there early in the summer with the whole group of them. So there were a lot of things. He plugged into all the liturgical stuff that was going on. So he was a substitute lector, substitute Eucharistic minister, weekend Masses, um, daily Masses. Um, helped out at all of our funerals uh, during the summer. Became our head incensor. And at funerals as well, just a lot of the behind the scenes details. So I think you got exposed to the variety and the, uh, the change of schedule, um, the interruptions, uh, sometimes the intensity, mm -hmm. um, the laughter, uh, the mm -hmm. solemnity, the crises. I mean, we had it all. And Coming from a business background, I found that it, it, interesting. How, how does a parish like of this size run? Father has a team around him of people that have a lot of executive experience in the business world. My hope for James is that we'd get him into some experiences that stretched him and made him realize that this isn't all about learning certain skills and doing it, but it's, it's we've talked a lot about this. It's, it's about praying, it's about trusting in God, it's about knowing that you're in over your head and relying on God's help to pull that off. Um, it's about collaborating with the other people who are involved in the ministry and not thinking you need to figure it out on your own. You know, we practiced ahead of time. Remember, we yeah, went over, yeah, yeah, went yeah. through the whole format, gave the reflection, um, talked about it. I critiqued it a little bit. You made some changes in it. Um, and I remember calling you after it was over and saying, well, James, how do you think it went? <laughs> and you were just ecstatic. Yeah. I mean, People that have, throughout the summer, have said, the reason that we we want you to be our priest, and here's here's why. And these, are, these aren't just fluffy things. These are things that are very personal to me. I love being with people. I love serving the church. I love everything that that, in, that comes with this life. It is challenging, but it's a it's it's a, a challenge of love. So there's nothing as fulfilling and as edifying as serving. James was out before every one of the masses, visiting with people after every mass, coffee and donuts, um, just plugged into all the things of the parish life. So. Well done, James. In all the different things that I've done in my, in my life, I've never been as happy as being in seminary. I think one of the things we talked about a lot and that I, I tried to make available to James over this summer is not just what we do as priests, um, but how it fits together. So we did talk a lot about personal prayer. Uh, we talked about a lifestyle. Um, talked to him about balance between um, work and play. Um, relationships, um, talked about my cat, I tried to make my inner life available to James of um, what makes me tick as a priest, not just what I do as a priest.